Good morning, welcome to Nifty and Bank Nifty Prediction. My name is Narendra. This video is only for education and learning purpose. If you want to buy anything, please consult with your financial planners before buying. Uh, let's go to the today's uh, uh, prediction for Nifty. Nifty, we have uh, three bearish warning signal with uh, four bullish indicators. So normally, four bullish indicators comes means uh, if pre-opening is supporting in the positive, then we can expect a bullish uh, trend. But the, we need to check the low is matching at the same time. And if it is pre-opening is in the negative, means it has potential to go bearish and close in the bearish itself even though four bullish indicators comes because there is also three bearish warning signals so we need to check out the pre-opening but at the same time on uh, friday we had a positive side target at the same time negative side target both sides open so uh, today nifty tried to go uh, go towards to both sides so that we need to play much more cautiously because which side is it is going to close and, uh, and after that which side it will go we need to check out sometimes uh, it will keep pending and go towards to one single side means we should not get in uh, effect so that you need to play cautiously with the hedging method the, but the basic rule anything uh, above the volatile level which is on 19,262 point four eight, you need to buy one zero zero. anything below volatile two which is 19,134.87 you need to buy one zero zero. anything in between and support and resistance level one also we need to check out as well because if this resistance level one high is not breaking plus 10 points in case potential to go towards any low set level and like with the same support level one if low is not breaking this particular level minus 10 points it is potential to go towards any bullish level so these are all the basic rules but as for the par value rule, it shows that par value anything below 19,820.62 need to come down towards 90, but still uh, you need to play with the cautious notes because of if it is trying to go towards the par value level, which is 4.4%, points, so that today you can go for a hedging method to place it, but here also you can go for a single side according to your risk appetite. And anything below 19,373.6, you can buy one put option zero zero. Anything above that level, you can buy one put option zero zero. But as per this data, anything below 19,585 is in control of the base, but still has potential to close in the positive 269, 227, or in the flat positive like that. It shows so play cautiously with the hedging method. That is the advisable uh, for Nifty today. But the key level which is uh, 19,161. Anything below, NFT will try to go around to 19,108. If low is struggling to break, then reversal is possible. Anything trading below the low 19,108 is in strong bearish control. Anything above the key level 19,161, above, if uh, NFT will try to go out to 19,364. If I is struggling to break, then reversal is possible. Anything trading above 19,364 is in strong bullish control. So watch out those levels. And bank empty also typically the same only thing is uh, we have three bearish one as, uh, instead of three in the empty in the bank empty we had two bearish one single with four bullish indicators and in the bank empty we had one day positive side no target there is no negative side target but still you need to go for a hedging mother due to the two bearish warning signal. So the basic rule which is anything above the volatile level one which is forty three thousand five sorry 43,051.53 anything above you can buy one option is anything below volatile 2 which is 42,871.84 below you can buy one put option is anything between you need to go for a team with that 43,079.33 plus 10 points high is not working then it is potential to fall down and volatile surplus for the bullish this particular will minus 10 points low is not working bank it has potential to require those two bullish and the support and resistance level one we have which is in the bank which is support level one uh, up to 372 points 
for 2004 or 9. If, uh, if those are going to be then MIT, Bangladesh has potential to go towards an 1100 register or one which is flat, uh, 4.28 points for 2007, 86 plus 10 points, rose not breaking high. Sorry, um, high is not breaking this particular plus 10 points. Then magnitude is potential to go fall down towards any low. And power value shows anything below 43, 436, magnitude will fall down towards lower, say 42, 270. But still, you need to go with the hedging method because if this goes to power value, it can go 1.3, 1.53, it can go minus 1.20. So, hedging method is preferable to the bank T as well. And as for this particular data, which is for the euro zero, 43,050.717, anything below, you can buy one call option euro zero, anything above one call option euro zero as well. But anything below 43,359. Bank it is in control of the peerage, but still has potential to close to 88 or the flat 90 like that it shows. And the key level which is going to be 42,883. Anything below this particular level, um, bank will fall down towards 42,805. It flows are going to break the first rule is possible. Anything below trading 42,805, it is in strong peerage control. And anything above the key level 42,883. It will go up towards 43,232. So, I just are going to break the first level is possible. Anything trading above 43,232 is in strong bullish control as well. Let's see how the model is going to use. Okay, thank you.